yo what is going on guys fl frost next here back here again and today this is just gonna be a quick video showing you guys how to run ks09 on linux i know that if you guys try to do the normal way of running windows games on linux you might run into some issues because you're missing a certain exe that needs to be installed before launching the uh, stove launcher for ks09 i'm just gonna quickly show you guys how to do that and yeah your game should be working as you guys can see the game is running Let's just quickly skip this. Vital sign checking. Yeah, well, there's a gameplay. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to get this up. So yeah guys, we're going to be following this Reddit post by Grand Ghetto on Linux Gaming, an amazing guy that helped me basically take the steps around the game, pointing me in the right direction, and yeah, I'm just going to be signal boosting, and yeah, you guys, I'll link this in the description, and please guys, I'll put, and yeah, we'll say, might as well just do things in order, you guys want to get the EXE from the stove website, you're going to have to log in to get that download, but yeah, get that EXE. You're also going to want this. this is very important. You're going to want Microsoft Edge Web View. You want the evergreen bootstrapper version, not this one, not fixed version, not standalone bootstrapper. That's the one we want. And yeah. So, guys, when you have both EXEs downloaded, the evergreen bootstrapper and the stove setup, you're going to add, add the game to your Windows launch of choice, Heroic, Lutris, Bottles. I'm going to use Heroic, as you guys can see. I'm going to change the name to KO0 or CZN just for short. And run the installer first. I'm going to get that from our download, still set up. You guys should have got the same EXE. And yeah, just wait for the setup to run. I'll just press next. It's downloading in program data, so let's remember that. And yes, yeah, installed. So we're just gonna want to find the exe of stove. So C drive program data, smilegate stove, so exe, and we are good to go. So we're gonna press finish. We have a game added, but before we run it, we want to do something very important, which is to run an exe on prefix. And we're going to run our Microsoft Edge web view. So yeah, this is, imp is a very important step. That's, this is really the reason why I'm making this video, because this step isn't that intuitive. Though Stove does tell you it is missing the web view, but the specific one you need, Evergreen Bootstrapper, as mentioned in the Reddit post by Grand Ghetto. That might not be so obvious, so yeah. This one seems to have the best compatibility at the moment. Yeah, after downloads, it should install. Grand Ghetto does mention some extra steps about going in the wine config and send that to Windows 11. I personally haven't done that and I've been fine, but I can show you guys just in case. Yeah, should be finishing installing right about now. So yeah, Edge has been installed. As for the Wine version or Proton Runner, this guide recommends GE Proton. Hasn't been working for me personally. I've tried a few different G's but Cache OS has been working fine so I'm going to use that Proton Cache OS if you guys want to download it I recommend Proton Plus it's on Flatpak that's what you guys can get and you can download a lot of Proton versions a very handy tool and kind of essential to be honest so yeah Proton Cache OS and I have the latest one downloaded so yeah just switch it to that or use GE might work for you they work for me and yeah I'm going to close this and we're going to run the game 
but I should say we will be running stove, which will then run the game. You guys are going to be asked to log in. I'm going to log in. If you didn't see an error, that's pretty good. If you saw an error about Microsoft Edge View, make sure, or Edge Web View, make sure you download the correct one, Evergreen Bootstrapper. And you have agreed with a logon, so I'm going to do that real quick. So you guys have logged in, hopefully you guys have as well. And yeah. Now we just press install on KL09. Should take care of everything. And yeah, okay. Agree to the license agreement. Install. Yeah, might as well select a run after completion. And I'll just reiterate if Proton G isn't working, try Proton Cache OS. Again, by getting that on the Proton Plus flat pack. Chaos Zero Nightmare. So as you guys can see, the game is running. I did have to do a quick restart of the game, but. Everything seems to be working. So if you guys just get like a white screen, just restart the game. Let's log in. Yeah, we'll have to download the update and everything should be good. So yeah, we are back to start the video basically and yeah, this game is running. Not straightforward as usual, but you know, that's how it is, things happen. Some games just have their own launcher quirks. So I'll just help some people get KO0 working on Linux. Shout out to the Reddit post by Grand Ghetto again, link in the description, upload that guys, and yeah. Let's try to get to the gameplay again, and I'm out.